Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome to Story Time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story, I'm bringing you out to this beautiful park with this, the, the, the you see the trees with the weeping, um, how do you call them? Like branches down, it looks so cool. And you hear the birds and the ducks. And so, because the story is called Harry Can Hear. <gasps> So let's see what he can hear and see what you can hear while I'm reading. Okay? Okay. It says, those who knew Harry never said he never listened. Oh, he never listened. I wonder why. His mother called him for dinner, but he never came. There's his mom looking for him. Come, Harry, Harry, come, dinner. His teacher called him called on him to answer a question but he never answered look at he looks like he's distracted playing with his ball in PE the teacher told him to jump rope but he never played he's still going after that ladybug his sister would ask him to turn down the volume of the TV but he never did look at him with all that popcorn <laughs> At the ice cream shop, they would ask if he wanted sprinkles, but he didn't hear them, so his ice cream was always plain. Harry never listens, they all said. Oh, he didn't know that he could ask for sprinkles. Look at he looks sad. One day at school, Harry's teacher announced that they were all going to the nurse's office to have their hearing checked. Everyone will take turns wearing the headphones when you hear the beeps. Raise your hand, the nurse explained. When it was Harry's turn, he sat down and put the headphones over his ears and he sat and sat and sat and he didn't raise his hands. Look at his even like sitting like laying on the chair actually. <laughs> Harry never listens, his teacher sighed. But maybe because Harry can't hear. The nurse took off Harry's headphones. Remember, Harry, raise your head, hand when you hear the beeps. Okay, but I didn't hear any beeps, Harry said. Let's try again, said the nurse. Oh, at least she's giving him another try. Again, Harry sat still, not raising his hand. The nurse, sorry, there's a big fire truck coming by. Let's let him go. So the nurse pressed buttons, making the beeps louder and louder. Finally, when the beeps were loud enough for Harry to hear them, he raised his hand. When the nurse finished the test, she had Harry take off the headphones. Harry, do you have a hard time hearing? Hearing people when they are talking to you, asked the nurse, and Harry nodded that he does. I think you need hearing aids to help you hear better, she said. Really, Harry asked. Really, asked the teacher. Really, said the nurse. Later that week, Harry's mom took him to the doctor where he was fit with hearing aids. Harry got to pick his favorite color, bright red. The doctor whispered, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you, Harry cheered. Excited to finally hear this His sister came running to see his hearing aids. Wow, your hearing aids look so cool, she said. Now when his mother called him for dinner, he came. When his teacher called him to answer a question, he answered. <gasps> That's all they needed was to have some hearing aids to help hear better. In PE, when the teacher told him to jump rope, he jumped. There he is, and they, they're jumping together. And he no longer turned the volume up on the TV. And at the ice cream shop, when they asked if he wanted sprinkles, he heard them and chose sprinkles and whipped cream, chocolate syrup, gummy bears, chocolate chips, and brownie bites. Woohoo! His whole world opened up because he can hear. Bravo! And with a cherry on top. Woo! 
Wow, isn't that an interesting story? I'm so glad he got the help finally that somebody could, that they did the hearing test so they could see he doesn't hear very well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope that you will remember that you are dearly loved and I hope that you will keep shining your light bright. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila. Bye for now.